This week on Phytex Tech Tuesday, we're going to dive into the power adder section of the Go EFI systems. We're going to cover things like wiring and how to hook up vacuum lines dependent on a root style supercharger or a blow through style supercharger. Power adder systems have an additional four pin wiring harness that comes along with the kits. These harnesses give you features for nitrous input and output, an additional electric fan output, as well as an air conditioning input wire. The four point wiring harness of a power adder system simply clips into the main throttle body harness. Other than that, all of the wires are the exact same to any other system. For a complete breakdown of all the other wires found on the throttle body, refer to our other video, which gives a breakdown of throttle body wiring. The AC input wire just goes to the positive side of the compressor clutch. The electric fan works like the first electric fan, which is just a ground side trigger for a relay. So you would hook up that wire to a relay that then turns on the second electric fan. And this temperature range is completely independent from that first temperature of fan one. The additional two wires are for the nitrous. One is a nitrous arm wire, which you feed 12 volts to to arm the system. At that point within the system, there's a bunch of parameters that you could set when the system turns on the nitrous, but the system turns on the nitrous by grounding the nitrous output wire. The second part of the power adder package is boost capabilities. Uh, depending on if you're doing a root style supercharger, so you're pulling air through the throttle body, or if you're doing a blow through where you're forcing air through a throttle body, you're gonna hook up the map sensor a couple different ways. There is a vacuum port on the front of the throttle body, and that is for redirecting the map sensor if you're doing a root style supercharger. In these applications, you could refer to the instructions on figure six there is a set screw that you would put into the bottom of the throttle body, which then redirects the vacuum draw for the map sensor out of the front. That vacuum draw needs to go underneath a root style supercharger so the system can see both boost and vacuum to operate properly. On a blow through boosted application, you don't have to worry about this plug because you're forcing air through the throttle body. By nature, it's gonna see boost and vacuum without having to do any different changes. When doing a boost or nitrous setup, I really encourage using the timing control feature because with nitrous, the system can pull timing when nitrous is activated. In boosted applications, the system could see the boost and pull timing as well. So it is a really important feature that helps you aid with doing these power adders. So I hope this helps you out with any kind of questions and in installation with one of the power adder EFI systems. If you have any additional questions in regards to today's topic or you have suggestions for future topics, please comment them down below. Also visit our website, phytechefi.com. Find the support tab. There is additional tech videos in that location as well.